Hi. So, I'm trying to debate why I'm going to do this video about the graduation. The parents getting arrested about the graduation and also about Mara's stuff. That's two headlines. Right off that I can that, that I can recall, you know, doing some videos, talking about right quickly. Um, you all definitely review the other videos on the channel if you're passing by. Subscribe, like, and uh, reply. So, I think I'm going to start this all about the Morris one because I just want to get this off, just vent this out, and I want to move on from it, okay? Because it's like, okay, people keep talking about it's 2015, it's 2000, common sense. Same stuff people were saying back up in the 90s and still. It's like, you, you, you need to go on a, um, what that is, a, a drown retreat. And on a drown retreat, you need to just go there just reading, like drown yourself in reading because you got a lot to catch up on. So, Marvin Sapp, popular gospel artist, okay? Don't think because you make it up in the black community, you know, to most black church people which go to church that somebody else going to know who you is that uh, the Queen of England or Donald Trump going to even know who you are like that. You know what I'm saying? Because you could still be considered peanuts to them. Um, so, you know, never would have made it. You know, y'all, you know, and some, some guy, you know, some black people in our community, you know, that, like, you know, you wouldn't believe, like, they never listen or really know the gospel. Or they may just be knowing Marvel set within the last five, you know, last five years. I was like, oh, he's been out for about 20 years. Um, never would have made it. It's not his first hit. Okay, he was in a group called Commission. Well, let me not give, me no, give him no portfolio for him. Let's get on with the headline topic. So what happened is he went to Ruth Chris Steakhouse. And they were turned away. And the claim was because of their dress acquired in Chicago. Okay. Now... It's not like he was in a back of Pennsylvania area where they just like, okay, we need to eat. You know what I'm saying? There's no other options here. Chicago. There are black businesses there in Chicago, and I'm sure there's black restaurants. I know it is because I can't pass them. You know what I'm saying? So, I didn't read on several of them, okay? So... There's even a black food company there. So I know they got restaurants because it wouldn't make sense to have a, a manufacturing company there and you ain't got, you know what I'm saying, them and the restaurants need to be networking. They just, a lot of things just, just really is and should be common sense. But it's people that really need a, a common sense class because, you know, they so common core. You know, they need common crust, common mantle. So... You know, it was put on his Facebook, whether him or his post it is. Mm. But he had the, the district manager card. You don't think some black business would have loved to use that money? Because if he had an entourage, what I seen, six or whatever his entourage was, that would have been a nice uh, $200 uh, that a black restaurant could have used. So, do I think his headline worked it well for gossip, if you just want to gossip, but on some real stuff with all the problems we got going, it's in Chicago. It's not like it's in an area like you'd be like, there is no other restaurants. Like, okay, I see if it's an area where it's all white restaurants. Like, look, one of you mother, you know what I'm saying? You need to let us eat somewhere. One of you all have to be willing to serve us something, a decent plate of appetizers. A closed Coca-Cola. That's a different story, okay? Because you're traveling, okay? But this was at the Chicago Gospel Fest. They didn't have some vendors there that could, you know, would have been glad to take a tip from Marvin Sapp, you know? Because I'm sure uh, Marvin Sapp, uh, Marvin Sapp getting some good royalties, okay? I don't want to believe that, you know, he might have got chipped out his first contract, but I'm sure he didn't did a couple of turn contract turnovers and got a church. In uh, 20 years. So that would have been a nice, you know, he got a nice 10, 20 dollar tip a person that I'm sure uh, he could have gave along with probably him eating 20 dollars worth of food. 
maybe 30 or 40. Ain't no telling. Some people do it. Now me, I'm, I'm on a 10, 20, close to 30 at the max. Unless, you know, if Jason Alexander, they don't even have prices on the menu. That's something different. Red Lobster pricey too. Um, but I, I'm telling you, oh my goodness. And, and my thing is, why do you want to eat you know, what is the sense to make a big doc? You're going to make them want to serve you. What they're going to do is put poison in your food next time. So it's best just to move on. It's a different thing, like I said. If you're traveling, like if they're in the U.K. somewhere, they're in Scotland, they're in Australia, well, you know what I'm saying? But there are plenty of black businesses advertising. So your PR and your team was supposed to get there and make sure y'all had, you know, put the, you know what I'm saying? Because... Chicago gossip fest is also black people supporting. So you need to be going to those restaurants that's probably playing never would have made it up in their restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Probably was promoting you before you got crossover into the club. So this is a short video, but that's all I got. It ain't even a headline unless you know you just sitting on the porch and you really don't have nothing else to talk about. And you're like, oh, this is a headline. Like, this something. I've been okay to find out about this here 20, 40 years later. TTYL.